There's a dangerous philosophy in life that you might follow but are completely unaware of. It does damage to you every day without you even knowing. Now I'm not talking about some religious or political idea or anything like that. This philosophy isn't introduced as a philosophy at all. It hides in your life and many times only reveals itself when you've fallen a victim to it. It's the philosophy of pursuing someone else's dream, not your own. Follow me as I continue my travels across Maine and I'll explain. Well, I've woken up and now we'll be getting on the, on the road. I've taken most of the stuff out of the cabin. And Andy's writing in his uh, journal or something. <laughs> or in like the cabin log book or something, I don't know. I remember a few years ago, a friend of mine was trying to start an online business and was really committed to it. He ended up buying a course online that teaches you how to start that kind of business. I bought the course as well and tried to learn, but looking back, I know that deep down inside, it wasn't my dream I was following. It was someone else's dream, but I pursued it anyway. We're at Sand Beach on Deer Isle. And we're walking along the, this trail here to the overlook. Someone put a dog aboard a paddle boat. What ways are you pursuing things that you don't really believe in? Maybe your father has always encouraged you to go to college and become an engineer. Maybe your mom has always told you what kind of daughter-in-law she wanted you to marry. But you have to sit down and really think to yourself, do I want this or does someone I know want this and I've convinced myself that I want it too? So why do we copy other people's dreams? I think the answer might be really simple actually. It all comes from not understanding yourself and others, but also something really important which I'll touch on in a moment. If you look around you, other people are confident, and it seems like they have it all together. It's really easy to assume they know everything and what is good for them is good for you. But if you don't take time to reflect on who you are as a person and what you want, you might just follow someone else's dream. And this brings us back to the really important thing I said I would mention earlier. That is, don't be afraid of missing out on someone else's dream. No matter how enticing their dream looks, make sure it is what is good for you. So last night we arrived at this cabin here, and it's a pretty nice cabin. It's got a, a, a stove and a sink that doesn't work, um, but it, you, know, you can drain stuff down it. And we got a fridge here that doesn't work either, but it seems to be gas powered. We ever got it working. We got a bed here, and then we got some beds upstairs um, in the loft up there. Um, and then we got this area to relax and just chill. Um, so that's uh, that's what we've been doing today, um, or last night into today. And then we're going to be going, I think, to camp tonight. If I'm not wrong, we'll be going to Massachusetts. And then also we have this beautiful view out here. You can see. If it was less cloudy, you might be able to see further, but I think you can see the mountains pretty good. As we continued our trip, leaving our cabin and the state of Maine behind, and as we took the road up to Mount Washington in New Hampshire, I was feeling the effects of not taking the advice I'm giving to you here. See, I'm not the kind of person who normally likes long road trips, and so I was getting tired of the long miles and the lack of time to rest. I went along on the trip because another person made the trip sound fantastic, not because it was my dream. And sometimes not doing what you feel is good can help you learn something or experience something new. But at least with the big things in life, make sure you're doing what you want to do, not what someone else wants you to do. Now with all of this, there's a caveat. And I don't want you to go away from this video thinking the wrong thing. Sometimes it's good to do something that you don't want to do. Maybe you don't want to do something that's morally right, but the right thing is to do it. I'm not talking about that here. I'm also not talking about you rejecting other people's advice. It's good to listen to what other wise people have to say. 
I'm simply talking about how you shouldn't allow other people to run your life to dictate what you do. So like I said before, ask yourself, do I want this or does someone I know want this and I've convinced myself that I want it too. Sean has a great attention and desire to be on camera. <laughs> do I? Sean is a movie star. There should be more places like this in Maryland, you know? Because Maryland is so drab, what they should do is they should build these mountains. They should take cement and build giant mountains, you know, and then grow trees on them and make them be, be fake mountains. Oh, is that the train? Yep. I hear the train. It's honking its horn. Sean says we should build mountains where we live. I think maybe we could. We could import them from this mountain slowly one at a time without permission and build a large mountain in Maryland. 